Alrighty. Alrighty, alright. Hey. Ah, I'm seeing green. See clouds of green. Red roses too. I don't know the words I'm supposed to say. No, review tech. This is my time. I love this. I love half of the music and the stuff. Not the Franco. I'm trying to get to my own new spot. Stuff. It's just, I hope the rest of the game, the soundtrack, like the soundtrack for when I went to go into my main menu, that absolutely blew me away. I might have to turn down the game volume a little bit, but... I might be skipping past some of the boring dialogue. I got some... Cr some... Um... Cr cr expert critique. <laughs> uh, so, I'm going to be kind of abridging what they say. I'm not going to be doing word for word, because you guys apparently didn't really care for that last time. So, if it's excessive random dialogue, I'm going to be doing that again. Ah. Uh. See if I remember the controls now. Got my camera shut up so I can maintain. Huh. Yeah. And swing huh. and jump. I got 99 rocks. Huh. <laughs> I just love this out. Turn the lights on, turn the lights off. It's just like, what the heck? Are you turning off and on the sun? <laughs> Uh, I kind of like this game though. It reminds me a lot. It kind of reminds me of Silent Hill meets Resident Evil if they didn't care about how dialogue was portrayed. Ew. What the f- <laughs> uh, I'm just going to run past you. Oh, you got stuck in the tree. I think this is just, that's all I gotta do, is just get them stuck, like, do some tree clippings and stuff. Oh, found some health. Need that health. No, oh, oh! Ha ha ha. Can I hide in here? Oh, what I see? I see a note. Alright, dialogue time. There's a body in the woods. We found it hiking today. At first, we thought it was a moose. But then my girlfriend pointed out that there is no moose on this island. Then we saw the skull, and it was definitely human. How do you mistake a moose, a dead moose, for a... Th oh my god. The people here are doomed. No wonder they all died, probably. On our way back to camp, one of my buddies walked into a swamp, a swarm of bugs. He lost a lot of blood. We turned our flashlights off, and they pretty much left us alone after that. Okay, where is that laughing? Oh, is that a tool chest? Can I... Come on, come on. Alright, open. Alright, so how are you guys doing? I see we got a few people here. I'm just making my way through this, and then I'll probably never touch this game again. It's an okay game, <laughs> but I gotta work through my game collection, so. It has some good parts. Oh, what is this? Can I get high off some drugs? Red mushroom, alright. I think that big, um, what the heck, I'm so bad when it comes to insects, but that big, um, bug, I think maybe he was supposed to be like the tyrant of this, oh, of this series. Oh, more of these guys, damn it. Alright, they're not even really doing much for me. <laughs> this, I don't know, this game actually could be, it reminds me a lot of Resident Evil 3. Come on, aim low. Alright, I gotta, come here. Oh, a little more here, and there we go. I got, what is this, a can of food, alright. Huh. 
a note. All right, so maybe they've found another dead body and mistook it for a moose. <laughs> Giant bugs just ate one of my friends. Actually, from the sound of it, they are still eating him. The rest of us are hiding out until they go away. We passed something that looked like a giant nest earlier. It was up in one of the trees. It looks like it might be able to knock it down if we can find something. All right, so I'm gonna be having to throw some rocks at nests and trees. She's been acting strange ever since we got here. I wonder if it's her mosquito out. Why? What the heck's up with this island? This island, there's an arachnophobe, like a bugophobe, arachnophobe? No, that's just spiders. But this guy, the main character, is afraid of insects. And now they bring a person who is allergic to mosquitoes to an island known for giant bugs. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but who the heck plants these things out? Alright, there's a lamp, but nothing to light it with. Alright, where am I supposed to go now? Let me guys know, anyone out there right now, this music does kind of give you Resident Evil vibes. I'm just going to let it play for like five seconds here. Are you guys getting any kind of Resident Evil vibes? Because I think of Resident Evil Dead Aim when you're on the boat. That could just be me and my weirdness, but I swear that's what it sounds like. What's the expiration date on this? Holy crap, voice acting! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this game is full of surprises. All right, I got two little things here. I'm going to go to the yellow one first. It looks like I might have hit a mountain. I'm actually kind of charmed. I won't lie. As bad as the dialogue part was for the first episode, I am kind of charmed by this game. As fog reminds me of Silent Hill, as flashlight thing, except for this. Like, I seem to turn off the entire world <laughs> when I turn off my flashlight, but... Oh. So this is probably the dead body. Let's take a good look. Alright. Alright, I gotta back up here. So I'm guessing this is what they mistook for the moose right here. Oh. There it is. Well, I don't see the skull. I I think this might be the legs. and some, Yeah, there's the skull, actually, right there. So we found the body they thought was the moose. Wait, how many of them died here? Holy cow. Oh. Uh, okay, I saw something fall from the trees. I thought maybe I was walking. Oh, come on. There's lots of dead bodies here. That's a good sign for a horror game that you're on the right track. <laughs> I don't know how many dead people are here? Holy cow. That looks tasty. You know, I'm glad that the voice acting for at least this part is a little more spread out. It'd be a very annoying... Alright, there's more of those little crawly insects. Oh, I found a note. There's something big living on this island. No crap. I've been chased by giant insects all the time. As far as you can tell, it's at least two two stories tall. It hit his guy, the guy's face. I'm still looking for my girlfriend. I found her tracks in the mud earlier. I'm surprised she was able to run so far. Oh my god, in heels? What is this, Jurassic World? <laughs> Maybe next time she'll listen to me and pack her sneakers. What is up with these people? Like I swear to god, this is a horror movie, and you're just hoping they die. Alright, so I think... Is there any point of being in here? No. I guess this is just a refuge for when you get chased by bugs or whatever. Alright, let's head towards the big red dot. Oh, come on. I gotta walk all the way back down. Alright. I can do that. I just, dude, you've got to learn how to run. It must be so bad for you the way you're running. So I looked online and because I was wondering why I got a weird score because after each level, you kind of got like a Resident Evil thing going on. Oh, you can't go any further. Block this way. Okay. So the score mechanics are just like Resident Evil where you're based on how long it takes you to complete the chapter as well as, what was it? How much health you have 
how much damage you take. And uh, it's pretty much the same thing. Blah. But you got some Resident Evil mechanics. So how much, if you use health packs or not. <laughs> Even with the microphone on my Wii, like, um, num like Wii controller there, it still sounds pretty funny. And if you guys have any game you'd like me to see play, I'm I specialize more in the PS2, Wii, and PS3 section of Uspot Gaming, while Nova specializes in Xbox One and Switch. And Mecharaptor, whenever we get him, oh, all right, there's the nest I gotta throw rocks at. All right, do I gotta take out that nest, or do I just have to, uh... Oh. Die, you eight leg of break! Oh. Yeah. Damn. All right, so I want... I got 100 rocks. <laughs> oh, 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 what did I get? A key? Oh, a lighter. Cigarette lighter. Maybe I'm supposed to go back now and light that lamp from an older one? Hey, there we go. So I gotta check my map again. I'm a little confused. This game is very vague for what to do and where to go. Alright, so I gotta go back to that lodge, yeah, and light the fire. I'm still not sure what the heck the point is of the uh, currency here, like these crystals. I didn't look that part up, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, that's right. I didn't kill all the... Oh. What the heck is that? Shooting acid. We have venomous moths now flying around? What the hell? the lamp of course <laughs> my flashlight gives off more light than that lamp oh I see a jerry can here uh, does nothing maybe it's I'm supposed to check my notebook after each event thing I do hints Arrival, creepy noises, giant mantises. All right, I don't need any of those hints. Just my destination marker. At least I got that. I'm so happy at least I have that. All right, I got that. So I guess... Actually, oh, that's right. I can actually save at um, lamps. That's good, because I don't want to do this all over again. Oh. What the heck? I can save at lamps. I remember reading that in the book. Oh, there we go. Save. Save successful. Alright. I still don't know where to go. Uh, I'm still looking for um, my wannabe girlfriend, if I remember, and my dish douche bag of a friend who stole my girl away from me. Alright, so I guess I go back through the Praying Mantis area. Oh, oh that, that might be the two-story, whatchamacallit. A bug. <laughs> it sounds like it's coming from the west. I guess you are alone. At least your d bag, like douchebag friend who's trying to steal the girl you like, had a shotgun. I got sticks and rocks. Alright, so let's keep going west. Am I actually going up the mountain face or. 
got sticks and rocks, and I'm off to go find out whatever the heck. I, like, I just got warned of a two-story bug on this island. <laughs> I'll put up with the guy trying to steal my girl as long as it means I live. Oh, so I gotta go all the way back up there. Okay. Wait, if I'm following my map, north, east. So now I'm heading south. A bit of southwest. Or, no, southeast. Northeast. Oh no, I'm totally. Oh, I'm getting lost. Oh, my god. Alright, those are those weird butterfree dooliads. <laughs> I keep comparing. Like, the only thing I can think of for those. So we've had the piranhas that jump at you from like the piranhas original trilogy where they could fly in trees and do all that stuff. Now we got butterfreeze that are trying to use poison powder on us. <laughs> uh, all right, so now I guess I'm supposed to be shocked for all the dead bodies. I was just here and nothing was- Try explaining it in English this time. That's easier said than done. <laughs> All right, so you got the Sloot and you got the Geek. Oh my god, this is amazing. You can't just barge into people's- I was just here. I was just here and you guys weren't here. The light wasn't even on. All right, so you can't just barge into people's houses like that. You scared me half to death. So Lynn, I guess, is the woman. Or is, no, Ray could be a woman's name too. No. Oh. So Ray, what is this place? Is everything- how to get me. Okay, so Lynn is the chick. Okay. Well, kid, just don't stand there like a deer in the headlights. What do you want? I want to live. I want to find my friends, man. All right. So, no. Am I Ray then? Oh, man. All right. So this guy definitely looks like a British Harry. Okay. So Harry Potter over here. Or are you just another lamb on the way to the slaughterhouse? Harry, shut up. You've been no help at all. Hey. I'm an entomologist, not an action hero. Entomologist. Anyone watching right now, please feel free to let me know in the description down below what the heck that is. So what brings you to this lovely little vacation spot? All right, so yes, that's right. I am Ray. Ugh. I already forgot my character is that entertaining that I already forgot his name. <laughs> it wasn't my idea, believe me. <laughs> then where are the others with you? Did they get eaten? A girl, I think, she might have come this way. A big guy might be with her. The only thing we've seen are, are so far these huge bugs. I bet they got eaten. Say that, oh, sorry, say that one more time and <laughs> there won't be enough left of you for the maggots to eat. Ooh, my guy actually has some backbone now. That is good to hear. You know, you were quite lucky to get this far. I know, I'm lucky because my guy is the lonely virgin who has yet to become the action hero. So by all movie logic, the best I can get hurt is a little scrape. <laughs> Luckily, they got a pretty damn pointy stick to fight off that giant millipedes and praying mantises. Oh yeah, I'm a lucky guy. Well, it could be worse. You could be stuck here with this lying scumbag. Ooh, Harry Potter is a lying scumbag. Who's a scumbag? Well, she's talking about you, Harry. Oh, yeah. Well, I really have to get going. <laughs> People to see, you know. Thanks for nothing. Just a minute. I need a favor. Lem Guardian Leviosa, Potter. What do you want? Some other time, I'm really in a hurry here. Look, I'm on my way here. I was attacked by a praying mantis and I dropped my bag. All right, so that might be that... Um... Ooh, he has a weapon inside. That might have been that thing I found earlier. I don't have time for you or your secret weapons. Or it could just be bug spray. Without a weapon, I'll never get out of here. My blood will be on your hands. I don't care. If you guys are the same ones from the note, then your little Lynn girl there is wearing high heels and is running out of her way. Apparently, I'm wearing sandals. And you guys cannot find your own stick. What the heck? <laughs> is that supposed to be a bad thing? Here's the key. Hurry. So I gotta go all the way back. All right. Bag key. Yes, I'm going to come back for you too. I don't know why you're here. Why I got to do all your errands, but. Alright, look, there's a stick right there. 
I got a stick. They can use that stick. I don't see why I have to risk my life. <laughs> As they're literally right outside their shack. Oh, man. All right, so if I remember, it was over here. All right, that's that flapping thing. Where the hell are you? I want to throw a rock at your face. Uh, where are you? I hear you. I just... All right, you're clipped on a tree. Ha! Huh! All right, a little more. You are so annoying. Where did you go? Ah! Can I get my points for killing it? <laughs> Alright, I believe... Uh, there it is. The second shack. No, was that the, no, that was the first shack. I was at the second shack. Doi. Oh, come on, you... Mother what is this currency used for? My god. My god, really. Alright, I gotta resupply my rocks. Alright. Unlock. Alright, what the heck, Harry? You are not a muscle man. Insecticide, okay. Let's go back to Mr. Potter and deliver him his stuff. My god. You damn Mothras. Or late Butterfreeze, whatever I called you before. You are so annoying. Alright. Come on, come on, come on, oh, come on. I... You don't even give me anything. All right, so it's trying to poison me and I, I don't know what it is, if it's my sensor bar that's acting up or what. I know I just gotta tap its ass and then it just falls out of the sky, so. I actually, I don't know. This has been pretty interesting, but the characters are so cliche. I would love for Shigeru Miyamoto to get, like, to direct this game, like, <laughs> what it would turn into. Alright, I got your insecticide, man. Where's my prizes? You were inside, why would you? What the heck is King Kong freaking doing here? Lynn, get off your damn knees. All right, th that, he should be dead from that for sure. What the hell? Alright, I'm gonna kick you right in the nuts! Right in the nuts! No, I can't even get close. Shucks. 
dick, asshole. Suck stick. Suck stick. I'm gonna give your shins a good bashing there, Shunny. I can't take this seriously. I don't know why. It's just... Jules, I'm gonna give your shins such a bashing there, pretty boy. It's a good thing he's trying to get these little insects after me more than him trying to actually get me himself. This is the most climactic boss battle I've ever done. He's banging on a tree while I attack him. Wait, did I actually kill him? Alright, no, he's gonna be coming back later more pissed off. Okay. Alright, well, let's go see Harry Potter if he's dead or not. If, it, if they kill him off that quickly, I'm gonna be a kind of disappointed. Wait, how many? These can't be all people, can they? Oh, that kind of looks like a face to me. I don't know. All right. Get ten oranges. I didn't even try. Kill ten praying mantises. I killed three. I didn't even realize there was ten in this level. There's traps. Apparently there was traps. Save my game, yes. Alrighty. I didn't even realize there was traps in this game. <laughs> traps, traps, traps. Alright, well, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll see you guys in about 10 minutes. 